Uh, I've been intending uh, this for weeks to be first, so I appreciate this confirmation. Um, I, I, uh, I know not to now ask an out of the vortex question, so that, that doesn't matter. Um, I guess I wanted uh, some clarification because I, I used to think that I needed to, when a, a fear came up, I needed to like do the emotional guidance scale and get rid of it. And then recently I heard you say that it's not your job to clean up your issues. It's your job to ignore your issues. I was wondering if you could speak more on that. Well, we were talking about the human tendency to want to get to the bottom of something. And you have to have noticed there's no bottom. Because when you focus on what you don't want, law of attraction just says, well, here's some more, here's some more, have some more, have some more, have some more. And so the more you focus upon what you don't want, the more you split your energy and the more you lock in to those grids that aren't your central grid. And so it's a wonderful realization to come to that. We appreciated your introducing of the word intended. We've been talking a lot about segment intending because we're just going to give something to you straight out. Your question is really asking for it. So you'll hear it so easily. The best deliberate creating is done in advance, not after the fact. In other words, by intending or what we have called prepaving, out there where the air is clearer you can get momentum going that sets things in motion but if you wait until you've got something that you don't want and then you're trying to sort of get rid of that what happens is you get more invested in it than you do let go of it and so rather than having a knee-jerk response to things it's like not segment intending just sort of blundering is a strong word and pretty appropriate blundering unconsciously into your day when you sort of just stumble out there and then let whatever come comes and then you get off on a reactionary stance it's much more difficult in fact so difficult that we've been saying and this may be what you're referring to just write it out when something goes wrong just accept the momentum of it and just write it out and take a nap as soon as possible <laughs> or meditate as soon as possible or take a walk or a run as soon as possible. In other words, don't try to deal with it. Have you ever tried to clean up an argument with someone? It's not even possible because they're all smarter than you are or they think they are. And so just let it go. Just let it go. But in advance, get ready for the next. So, Here's a piece of understanding that we have not defined this clearly before. Your question really asks for it in a strong way. You're going to like this. So you understand the concept of the grid sort of makes sense that I've got this vibrational basis. And when I step into my full power, everything goes better. So here I am feeling good and I'm thinking about something that's way out there. Maybe the birth of babies that haven't even been conceived yet or a relationship and I don't haven't even met the person yet or uh, a business that I will have someday that I have not even established yet or prepared for yet something way out there in my future. Well, the further out there it is, the more it behooves you to be general about it. Because when you try to be specific about something that you don't have information about, you just get frustrated. It makes you feel lacking. So the more general you are, such as, oh, it's going to be great. I'm going to live happily ever after. I'm so looking forward to things falling into place. I know I'll know it when I see it. I don't have to figure it out right now. Things always work out for me. I'll know what to do when the time is right. I'll be guided every step along the way. Those general statements allow your energy to be clear and all that is necessary for you to get everything that's in your vortex or to achieve a grid that allows everything in your vortex to just flow in, in the perfect timing and sequence. All that's required for that is that you keep a smooth energy pattern going on. That's the power of meditation. Meditation takes you to the most general 
of pure vibration when you meditate you stop thought when you stop thought you stop resistance when there's no resistance everything can flow into your experience you see so the further out there it is the more general you are but let's say you're sitting here in this room you know that you want to be in the chair you've already defined that you want to be first in the chair now it's time to get specific about it in other words now something less general something more specific such as I really think it will be fun to be in that chair I really like the idea of having a dialogue with Abraham I really like the idea of having a conscious dialogue where we're exchanging communication where we are getting on the same vibrational wavelength and taking thought beyond that which it has been before much more specific conversation for example when you get into your automobile to drive somewhere be present get real specific I'm going to put my hands on the steering wheel I'm gonna pay attention to what I'm doing I'm gonna enjoy this moment I'm going to engage consciously with other drivers I'm gonna have a sense of what others are doing on the road I'm gonna be at one with my vehicle I'm gonna have everything in my vicinity in my awareness whether I'm using my physical senses you use your hearing much more in driving than you realize I'm going to use my physical senses I'm going to use my eyes and my ears I'm going to be at one with my vehicle but I'm going to sense intuitively what other drivers around me are doing that's a really specific conversation that you're having with yourself and because you're just about to get into your vehicle it's good to be really specific you don't want to be in that general sense whatever will be will be <laughs> things just work out for me I think I'll take a nap while I drive up to Stanford 